Welcome to Production Expert, my name's Dan Cooper. Got myself a copy of Spiff by Oak Sound. It's a transient processor that enables us to either boost or cut transients. Big deal, there's plenty of plugins out there that can do this, but what makes Spiff different? Well, to the right, you would have noticed this EQ section. It's not an EQ section, it's a sidechain EQ, and this gives us a small idea what Spiff is all about. In a nutshell, Spiff analyzes incoming audio and only applies transient boost or cut processing to parts of the signal that has transient information in it. Very smart. Now there's loads of transient processor plugins out there. They're either extremely simple to use or bloody confusing. This, I feel, sits mid-table. It's either as easy or as complicated as you want it to be. Brilliant. So let's run a quick kick drum through this so you get an idea what this is all about. On the left, we can either cut in blue or boost. Four controls below that as well to fine tune your transient processing. Mix blend control here, it's at 100%. Output trim, delta, this is quite interesting. We can monitor the transients themselves, we can bypass the plugin internally. We've got some advanced settings down here as well. And we're going to work in stereo mode left, right, but we've also got mid side, which is quite nice. So over to the sidechain EQ. We've got three bands, two filters. Each band can be bypassed very easily. And we can also listen to each band as well, so band solo, again, just to help us monitor, hear what's going on in the audio. So let's process a kick drum. Let's say we want to bring out the click a bit more. Let's use this band. And we're on boost mode on the left here. Let's just increase. We can band listen. We can play around with the decay and sensitivity higher the sensitivity, the more transients it will find. And we've got decay time over here as well for the recovery time. Let's take that back out of the band pass. Delta, just so you can hear what this sounds like as well. Bring the depth down a bit. Let's try it on cut, do the opposite. Let's throw something a little bit more taxing at this, like a full drum arrangement. Let's uh, use the high pass, bring this in, turn it on. I don't really want to be doing any transient processing at the low end, I want to do some more at the top end. So, let's use this band, let's put it in tilt. Increase the depth. Recovery time. Before. That's nice. And this is what we're basically processing. It's in delta mode. Let's wash it out. Let's put it in cut modes. Same side chain. Just increase the depth. Nice. Let's go back to boost. Let's really push it and play around with the mix control. Let's bring it down to Okay, so that's it on drums. Let's try it on some piano. Okay, let's use this to sort of soften the transients in the top end of this piano. It's just a bit much in my ear. So, again, I'm gonna use the high pass. Let's bring that in, turn it on, and just increase the depth. So it sort of leaves the uh, bottom end of the piano alone. Somewhere up there. I'm going to push it.
Yeah, much better, much better. Okay, final test. Let's throw it on the master, hear what it can do. Let's just go up to the preset manager here, full reset. Plenty of presets, by the way, here to get you going. Put it in boost and let's have a play. Yeah, nice, nice. So, what's my final thoughts on Spiff by Oak Sounds? Well, I do like a good transient processor. They're great for adding interest and impact or smoothness to instruments. And uh, yeah, this does a great job. Definitely worth trying out for yourself. It's only really limited by your imagination. And I think it's a fair price at about 149 euros. As always, whatever I say in these videos are just my humble opinions. Get yourself the demo, try this for yourself and see if this is something that could fit your workflow. Anyway, I hope you guys got something from this. I'm Dan from Production Expert, and I'll see you again soon.